In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert rollover images to create a button bar. I like to work in split view. It lets me exactly place in the code where I want my image to go, which is right after the masthead. So I'm in the header section at the end of my image tag. I'm going to insert an image object with a rollover image. The rollover image lets you put in two images, and I'm just going to leave it with the default image name. And I'm going to choose one up. You'll notice one up versus one down. The shadow is on different sides. So I'm going to choose one up. And then for my alternate image, I'm going to choose one down. I'm going to just put in a placeholder here of a pound sign because I have not created the other page yet. This would go to page1.html. And I could put an alternate text link to page one, hit OK, and it drops in my button. I can preview this in Firefox, and you'll see that if I hover over it, it changes. Now I have found that in HTML5 I get a slight spacing between the bottom of my other image and this one. You don't get that using the HTML4 layout. So you may want to take that into account or be careful on how you set your background color so that your background color will blend in more to the buttons. Now to add the next one, I can either click directly here, which puts me right next to it, and you'll notice that that places my insertion point exactly where I want it at the end of the anchor. Insert, image object, roll over image, choose your up, up, choose the down, And I created these as one solid oops, bar in Photoshop. And again, I'm just going to have it go right here, and there should not be any spacing between the two buttons. And you can you would keep going with inserting image objects, finding your up image, by adding your down image. You should be putting in alternate text for these. And if you had your pages done, you could put in the link here, or if you had the name for the pages and knew what they were, you could keep going that way. I only have four buttons. You want to click right after it. Find your original, the up version. And I do recommend, recommend naming them with up and down. Uh, you also have tutorials in Photoshop for creating those buttons. If you need to learn how to do that, you can search for Photoshop buttons through the MCC Mary tutorials. Okay, so that's all of my buttons. That one's a little off. I might have to go and edit that in Photoshop. It didn't save right, which you usually realize when you come in here and test them. So we're going to go ahead and test this, though. Preview browser, and this time let's check it in Chrome. I like to check them in a different browser each time, so I'm going to have to go back and edit button 4 in Photoshop, because that appears to be one pixel off the others. But other than that, I'm getting my mouse over effect. Now if I click on it, nothing's going to happen. You'll see the little hash mark appears up here. That just gives me a link to the same location in this page. It's a good way to test things before you put in the actual values. And that's how you put in a rollover image in Dreamweaver.